Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm very excited to be sharing with you my top spring favourites. Next week's video I am actually going to be sharing with you my full spring capsule wardrobe video. However, every time I do those videos I feel like I categorise a lot more. So I will show you for example white t-shirts as a category, jeans as a category and I won't really speak in depth about each individual item. Especially considering the fact that in those videos I oftentimes feature my most worn pieces. Pieces, and I don't oftentimes get the opportunity to talk about them in depth. This is not all the pieces that would be in the capsule wardrobe video. This is just a few that I feel like have been my best purchases and I know I didn't film a best and worst purchases at the start of the year so it's kind of one of those except my best purchases for spring. In other words my absolute favourite pieces for spring that I've worn so many times or I feel like I'm going to wear a lot. I'm looking around because the pieces are right next to me and I do just want to get started with this video. As always I'll link my Instagram and my TikTok on the screen now and also in the description box of this video. There I've obviously already styled these pieces and it's actually based on the content on those platforms that I've been able to see which ones have been my most worn pieces from last spring. Usually I would also talk about the blog however I've currently put that on pause for a second as I'm prioritizing getting back into the consistency on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube and my blog was more so something that I did once in a while. I didn't really stay that consistent at it. I would stay more consistent on the other platforms and recently there's just been a few different changes so I decided to kind of pause the blog for a little bit so in case you've been typing it up looking for it and it's led you to sort of like a login page that's why and then once I get back to the consistent flow of things on the other platforms then I will bring back the blog basically and actually be consistent on there but with that being said I do just want to get on straight into the video so let me show you the pieces that are my favorite starting off at the very top of the list we have my Oran sandals from Hermes now these these ones if you could see the bottom you can tell I've worn them a lot and I do actually have these two pairs that I've worn quite often however out of the two of these the black ones have been my best purchase ever really. I not only wore these black pair a lot in the spring but also in the summertime and every single outfit I would link over on Instagram and TikTok I almost always remember just linking to Aran sandals so they were by far my most worn piece of footwear in spring summer not just sandals but footwear as a whole. To be fair, last year I did not have ballet flats at all, so maybe that's why, but I still feel like these are just the best pair of sandals. Initially they may take some getting used to and some breaking into, but once you break into them they are genuinely so comfortable, and I guess because they are leather they just always look more put together than let's say rubber flip flops. I guess the only exception with that is I wouldn't wear this to the beach where there's water, but I find that these are a lot more versatile than the gold pair because even though I'm not so much of a matchy matchy person with everything. I couldn't really wear this with a black bag or with a dark brown bag. Although I do think last year every time I styled a dark brown bag initially I started off with these because they were my first Aran sandals and then I picked up these and they kind of overpowered these and I wore these so much more often. So if you're between these two and you're not sure which ones to get I would highly recommend well going into the Hermes boutique first and seeing which one you prefer. Personally I found the black ones to be a lot more versatile. I oftentimes found that this gold pair which is the tan from Hermes was actually washing me out a little bit especially when I was a little bit more tanned in the summer whereas these black pair were always the ones I would go for. Now if you are looking to get these and the only reason you haven't picked them up is because you haven't really been bothered or you thought I'll wait until summer I would highly recommend getting them now before everybody remembers that it's summer and starts picking them up. Also because Hermes constantly have price increases as with many other designer luxury brands and so I remember when I picked picked up my first pair it was around 530 pounds or something like that and now if I'm not wrong they're around 620. However if you are not sure whether to get them because you don't want to spend such a high price point without knowing that you're going to like them I would highly recommend some of the similar alternatives. Before I got either of these I did have the Dune Lupe sandals. I still actually have them but I would highly recommend something like that if you're not sure if you're even going to wear sandals. The next one on the list goes without saying and if you've been watching my channel or following me on Instagram and TikTok 
for the last year you will know that this was basically the only bag I ever wore with anything and this is the Dragon Diffusion Santa Croque bag in the small size in the dark brown color I love this bag and have loved this bag from the minute that I got it and it's just so iconic obviously it does remind a lot of people of the Bottega Veneta bags because of the intercharto style leather I think it's one of the most classic style of bags I also think it's such a unique bag and I love this trapeze shape the only thing I would say about this I wore this for the first few times in the south of France last year beginning of spring and it was when the sun was coming out now I know some people had already asked me about this before which is color transfer I wore this with a pair of white jeans and it did rub off a little bit however I found it only happens if it's been exposed to the sunlight and the leather has gotten a little bit warm and then the color can transfer on a day-to-day -day basis in the winter when it's cold and it's not directly in sunlight that does not happen but to be honest I think that would be a given with any dark brown bag made of leather the bottom of this bag has this almost like Togo leather base which I love because you can just put the bag down and even though it doesn't have feet it doesn't ruin the intercharto leather and start to unweave it again this is in the small size because I know they also make large size which has much longer straps if you want to wear it over your shoulder this one is just gonna go like this even wearing a navy blue outfit right now I've worn this with this bag and it's just so lovely and that brings me nicely onto the third pieces which is actually well it's more than these two but it's dark brown accessories now obviously dark brown is one of my favorite colors especially for accessories this one over here is relatively new it's the Giorgio Armani La Prima bag and these are the iDay ballet flats I featured both of these in my most recent haul video you would have seen last week however already I can tell that they are going to be some favorites for spring with the Giorgio Armani bag I already took it with me to the south of France twice already somehow I've had enough time to do that already and I think same thing with these ballet flats and I've worn them so much so with all these pieces I will leave them linked in the description box of the video alongside the sizes that I have in them however bearing in mind some of these pieces are quite old and they no longer make them so I will leave some similar alternatives as well for the premium pieces I will do that as well however with a piece like this for example which is quite unique to Giorgio Armani it will be a little bit hard but I will probably leave another dark brown bag that I also really like now these next two pieces or in general tailored trousers these are the pieces that always elevate my outfits in the spring and I feel like are underlooked a lot the thing about tailored trousers is that oftentimes they're associated with quite smart events workwear suits things like that however when you can wear them for example these trousers which I will tell you specifically which ones they are in a second I wore with a strapless bandeau bustier top last summer or last spring and people absolutely loved them but for theory this is probably a piece that most people would get for work so it's just being able to take tailored trousers and style it down where it still looks smart but effortless now these are one of my favorites these are the theory Demetria pants in goodwill this one is in a size double zero and I do slightly alter it at the back these are quite long I am five foot six with slightly long legs and they are amazing at making your legs look extremely long I'll put up a video of me wearing these I was wearing them as well with my Magda Boutram heels which are one of my tallest heels in my collection they're about 110 millimeters and still they just about then fit me you can get them tailored if you have longer legs than mine you probably will be fine and I do now have these in navy blue and in gray speaking of gray trousers these are the ones that I wore a lot these are the fuchsia shore pair they probably need a steam here but you'll see it on the screen better these are in a size six these were really nice to wear as an all gray outfit if you guys know me and you've seen my content you probably will know that I love my monochrome outfits especially monochrome cream and monochrome gray there are other trousers that I would feature here like for example last year I had a white pair of trousers from Reese I have another white pair of trousers arriving in the next couple of days which I believe may be the best ones I found so far so that's why I didn't want to include the Reese one in this video in case that one that I'm getting tops that one off then I'll feature it in the spring capsule wardrobe and whilst on the topic of trousers I have some straight leg jeans here two of which I think again were my top ones last year and lots of people asked me about these and probably two that are both not available right now to get I think the first pair are these Everlane these are called the way high jeans and they are in the Folsom blue color these are in a size 23 regular I got these in the 27.5 inseam if I'm not wrong these are I will say the best fitting jeans that I own in my collection for straight leg I wore them many many times and I got many questions about them and they 
they sold out several times again and again they're just one of my favorites especially again because they fit me really well they cinch me in at the waist they fit me well on the bottom they're not too tight around the thighs but they just look like they fit me but they don't look like skinny jeans because sometimes when you get straight legs that fit you really well they basically look like skinny jeans these ones are from cos and you would have seen them on my channel either in the cos worth the hype or one of my hauls from last year or even at the end of the year before these are the relaxed straight leg high rise ankle length jeans these are in a size 24 because they're in a size 24 and not 23 they are a little bit larger on the waist but not too severely and they are epic they fit so well and actually a lot of the outfits that i had made with this pair of jeans i ended up wearing in the summer with the everlane pair instead once i got the everlane ones but one of my favorite pairs and if they still make this exact model i'm definitely going to look into getting them in white another piece that has been my most worn piece i think now for three years consecutively is actually from h&m this one i honestly got so long ago if it's not three years it's four and it's still very much going strong which comes to show that you can get pieces from h&m it's all about having the eye for or what looks good what looks premium and what just doesn't work because you can find incredible pieces on the high street you just have to know what to look for and this is one of those pieces and they actually still make it i believe it's even under the 20 pound mark and i wear it every year <laughs> and i still do my thing with it it's just this buttoned white shirt very simple a very relaxed shirt it just looks very spring summery but you can also wear it in the autumn winter as well now this next piece is definitely one of my most loved purchases and probably one of my best purchases as well this is actually a blazer from cos and it has the most incredible they don't make this anymore i don't think not only does it have the appearance of wool it actually is wool especially on the outside it has that textured I don't know if you can hear that obviously i've got my microphone here but it's actually a wool texture and it's so lovely but then the inside is not wool which means you can wear it in the spring the buttons have this light tortoise shell it looks so much more premium than it actually was i think i maybe paid like 150 pounds for this i really do think it's one of my favorite blazers in my collection although that's hard to say because i have a lot of favorite blazers however the arms on this are so unique it's got a pocket on the inside very nice cos please bring this back because I know a lot of people loved it last year and then it just sold out and didn't come back. Blazers are the thing that I like to wear in spring because you don't want to overwhelm yourself with really warm coats. You want something a little bit lighter weight instead like a blazer. Continuing on with the theme of lightweight, I find that sometimes you just get a little bit more of a windier day in spring and it is nice to come prepared, especially I know there are a few people who lock up all their pieces from autumn and winter and in that case you want to to at least have some things that are transitional so that if there's a day when it's raining and it's supposed to be spring you are still prepared these are both the same model of jackets from arquette i believe they're called the double faced wool jacket and i have it in this beige color and these are great especially for the beginning of spring where you still have a little bit of breeze especially in the evenings or if you're by the sea and you know it gets a little bit colder there i got the beige one myself for spring and then i got this one when i was working with arquette a little bit later on in the year you may remember I wore a full grey outfit with a mini skirt also from Arquette. However, for something longer, I would go for something like my Bimeline Berger, which is a double faced wool, but it has those high slits on the side. So you still get air and it also just looks incredible. I don't want to stop wearing that coat. If I could wear it in the summer, I would, but obviously I cannot. I want to maximize how long I can wear that one for because it just looks incredible, feels incredible. And it was one that was on my wish list for the longest time. And now that I have it, I always always want to wear it penultimately on the list of my spring favorites i have my jenny kane cooper cardigans i am missing my black one from here because i don't have it with me just at the minute but i have my cream one and my top one instead and i'm already excited to wear these this spring especially because last spring i think i had my black one but i didn't have a top one as always when i mention my jenny kane cooper cardigans i always have to say that if you see any advertisements of me wearing these on instagram or tiktok or whatever please do 
do not click on them if they're not from Jenny Kane. There's a lot of fake advertisements, not just with me, but other creators who have styled the Jenny Kane Cooper cardigan. But I do think either way, cardigans are always a category that I mentioned in Spring Capsule Wardrobe and the Jenny Kane takes the cherry on top. Lastly, in this video, I have two pieces, but they're from the same brand. So I thought I would share them together. The first thing probably needs a massive steam, but it's the bias cut trousers from Almada label in this pearl color. Now I did have a variety of satin bias cut trousers last year. It wasn't this exact one, but I had a pair from Enza Costa, maybe even a pair from H&M, Jenny Kane. I have these ones that I'm wearing. They're not satin, but they are bias cut from Vince. I'm really into these trousers. I think they look so casual, but at the same time, very much elevated. And this one is one that I'm very excited to wear a lot this spring season. And then the next thing is this cashmere maxi skirt. To be fair, I would feature the whole entire set in this video, but I didn't want to bring all of the pieces into this video. It's just this, the vest, tank top, and then the jumper. I think it's a very, especially for an airport outfit, very put together. But these are pieces that I think really elevate your outfits, especially with it being cashmere. I think you can obviously tell that it's more premium and it just makes you look more put together. And with it being a neutral shade, I think it oftentimes looks more luxurious. And just like that, we've come to the end of this week's video. Like I said, next week's video will be the full capsule wardrobe video where you'll be able to see a lot more of the pieces that I like to have in my capsule wardrobe. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you guys very, very soon in my next one.